All right, so we're on our way to Chattanooga, Tennessee. And one of the things that you'll think about when you hear Chattanooga is Chattanooga Choo Choo. And so we're going to go actually ride a train. Now, I did this when I was a kid. I don't think you've ever done that. So it'll be your first time, my second time. I don't really remember, so I might as well say it's my first time, too. It's like the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum is where it's at, too. So we're going to go check that out. And it just so happens to be our second year anniversary by the way so just a coincidence i guess mm. well if you're here on sunday and you want to do a little brunching uh highly suggest lakeshore grill it's on the opposite side of the river from chattanooga but it's fantastic it's at lakeshore marina uh highly recommend eating here i got the chicken and waffles it was great and also the mimosas they're two dollars or a double for four or you could be like the wife that's pregnant and didn't get any. All right, so we just did the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum and you actually get on this rail car and can ride around. It's like 17 bucks a person for an hour. Uh, you get to ride around, look at like four bridges. You get to the end uh, and there's a turnstile. It takes 25 horsepower to turn the thing and it used to be ran by like four men. That's how easy it is to turn. So I show you that. You go in there and you look for where they work on the uh, rail cars themselves and stuff like that. And then they bring you back. All, overall, it's worth doing once, sort of, but it's kind of one of those things that would be nice to do anyway, but once, and that's it. All right, so we just got to the Doubletree downtown Chattanooga, and I gotta say, I gotta tell you, it's a great place to stay by the convenience of the Hilton Honors app. Once you download that, it has a digital key, and you can kind of set up everything you want to and kind of press uh, uh, check in at whatever time you want to check in and that allows you to go in and set what floor you want to stay on by what open rooms they have in the whole hotel and then what room you want on that floor so that's awesome and then when you come in for the very if you're using it for the very first time you have to scoot by the desk and they'll just basically look at your ID and then activate the app for you to be able to use and then it uses NFC or Bluetooth technology I think Bluetooth uh, once you get Maybe NFC, one of the two. But once you get up to your room, you just hit unlock and it's flashing, it's sending out the signal, proximity signal, so I'm assuming it's NFC. You hit it right up to the keypad and unlocks your door. Super awesome and convenient. You don't have to carry around a key. You're always gonna have your phone with you. Highly recommend that. And also, if you wanna go over the river, there's a little coffee shop that we stopped at. Uh, what was the name of that place? Milk and Honey. Yeah. It was I milk. It. it was milk and honey. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it's, we shouldn't have thrown away the baby cup. Yeah, they gave her was well, she wanted some sugar-free coffee, and they gave her like this little shooter. It was a flavor shot. And it wasn't even full. It looked like a mouthwash cup, and it wasn't. We laughed full. so hard because they brought my coffee out first. And I thought that was mine. Yeah, and I always have like straight black and they, you know, she ordered and they ordered under her name. So they're like, Tiffany, your coffee. And she's like, thank you. And, you know, and looked. I was like, oh, that's yours. You know, handed it back to me. And then uh, they come out with this tiny cup. I mean, I don't know if I could even I mean, replicate it. Was like, it was like a mouthwash cup. Yeah. It was like, this is the cup. And they're like, Tiffany, uh, your coffee, you know. I saw the <laughs> and then we just both like instant laughed and because hers had a lot of foam in it, it was like really light, so I couldn't tell the awful. how light it was, so it was even double funny for her. But yeah, so there's that place. And it's got a little hangout area there. I'm so sure if you're with a group fine. and you need some coffee, yeah. Thing. Right across the river, easy jump to to get that. But there's also Starbucks in the hotel and okay. one down the street. <laughs> The air conditioning yeah. was freezing. Yeah. And, and the room's nice too. Yeah. And you do have, I, I questioned this because I didn't know, but you do have a microwave and refrigerator down there. It's probably small. Hilton, only Hilton Honors. Yeah. You have the way. Yeah, and then a tiny microwave. There. Yeah. And nice size room. Machine. Yeah, nice size Note to self, never leave your windows open, your blinds open. Yeah, because look, right there see. we can see a bed. Not that we will look. No. I'll look later when, when it's dark <laughs> outside. I can see a little bit better. But from here, we're in the 12th floor, room 1209. So if you ever stay here, send me a shout out. There's the river, river bridge, and aquarium right there. Also, the TV has HDMI ports on it. There's one guaranteed one for sure for the cable box. So you can do like I do and bring an HDMI cable and I bring an NVIDIA Shield tablet, which you can mirror that onto the TV itself or bring a fire stick. 
Google Chrome cast thing, whatever you want to bring, you can bring that and hook it up because that's what I always it says do. There's two complimentary bottles of water in here. There's only one. Assholes. <laughs> also, head over to the pickle barrel. It's kind of right downtown. Uh, they do have a rooftop area that you can eat at. It's smoking in there, so that may be your personal preference to go out there and eat. It, it was ours because uh, my wife is pregnant, but it was great food, by the way. So, and they have some kind of drink too. It's like a pickle juice shot thing. I, I did have that. It was whew, rough. It's a nice little walk from the hotel to the aquarium. Nothing crazy, but if you're going for breakfast, go to Puckett's. Highly recommend that for lunch breakfast dinner and everything it's just really super great food now please do will call repeat will call your tickets to kind of see where everything's at you got an ocean journey and a river journey those are ocean fish river fish kind of got the idea two separate buildings there so let's just get into this show you a nice collage of the ocean side and a nice little collage of the river side and i hope you do enjoy it and I'll be right back with you shortly.
stuff to do in Chattanooga when you come. Uh, you've got the Chattanooga Choo Choo Hotel as an option. I don't recommend staying there, but you may want to swing by there and visit. Uh, visually, it looks pretty cool on the inside. You can stay on these rail cars and stuff. Those may be okay, but all the other rooms kind of sucked. And yeah, it's terrible. Uh, Rock City is also near. Um, I kind of like that. That was a pretty cool experience to get to see it on a mountain level. And we'll get to talking about where else you can see these mountains and stuff from a different level here in a minute. But Rock City was awesome. And also the aquarium, the Chattanooga Aquarium, which is kind of the, the, the main tourist attraction, I think, here in downtown Chattanooga especially. But I do recommend staying at the Doubletree or any of these little hotels that's in a row here because you can walk to everything. And one of the things you can walk to is the aquarium, but make sure to buy your tickets in advance, please, because the will call line where you pick them up at, we were like number two and the other line zigzagged and they were like three quarters of the way full in the building where you get your tickets. So balance out that load and try to buy your tickets in advance. On the website, you can buy tickets to the aquarium. You can buy tickets that include the aquarium and the river gorge boat thing, which I'll talk about here in a minute. And then you can buy IMAX tickets in a bundle. You can buy all three and save a bunch of money or just two things or just the one thing. But uh, just buy them in advance. We'll call line super short and you're in and out of there. And behind the freshwater fish building is a pier. And that is where you can find the River Gorge boat back in there. Uh, you go down there and you just load up. It's a super nice boat. It was built after like uh, these expedition boats. So it'll go like 50 miles an hour. Very roomy on the inside, pretty comfortable. We got TVs everywhere. Um, if you've ever been on a river in the United States, um, you may get bored halfway through. We did. It's really for bird watchers, I'd say, and people that really haven't been on a river boat or something like that and, and, and haven't seen that side of, of mountains and the world and stuff like that from the river. If you've done it, you may want to unless you just want a place to sit for like three hours but it gets kind of boring halfway through but the boat goes fast and when it stops it does like the super fast stop and it and when it does that it causes the ripples to kind of dissipate kind of counteracts the motion that's going in and they do that they stop real quick and throws water everywhere so that uh, they don't like flip over boats and stuff so you can do the rock city and you see it from the mountainside and you see these rocks and crevices there. Then you can go down and do the riverboat thing. You can see what you can see from Rock City. So that's where those two thingies connect. Another cool thing that you can do is eat, sip, and walk. That I'll leave links to everything that I mentioned down in the description to so go there, but you'll have to book a tour for this eat, sip, and walk. It's like three hours, I think. And you go to five different restaurants. There's two different paths that you can take. One's downtown, one's south side, I think it is. That was really fun because you also get to uh, mingle and interact with people. You do get a good discount. You get to drink alcohol and you get to eat snacks at every stop and you kind of get this hodgepodge of, of goodies. But for lunch, you may want to head over to Blue Water Grill. It's an expensive place but it may not be that bad at lunchtime. So if you want to eat that kind of food and you got that kind of money, head over there. And for dinner, just take a dart and throw it on the map and go because there's a, a ton of eateries around here and stuff that's not anywhere else. And there's chains as well. So it's just kind of like a pick of the litter. Overall, it's a lot of cool things to do in Chattanooga. It really does make for a great escape for a weekend or extended weekend into the week. There's a host of museums that you can go visit. There's a lot of kids stuff to do. So they're doing a really good job with Chattanooga and making it this big tourist attraction. And it's kind of worth the money to come to. Uh, make sure you use their bike system. They have that rent and return kind of thing where you can go all over the city and drop it off at, at a return spot and a pickup spot and you know, back and forth. You don't have to bring it back to the same spot you got it from. They got this really cool bridge where you can ride bikes across it. So overall, I hope you've enjoyed our little look at Chattanooga. We didn't go everywhere. We went to a fraction of the places, but hopefully it gives you an idea that there are things to do here. The city looks great, it's well-maintained and it's just a fun family getaway. And whatever you do on your way out of town, go by Bluegrass Grill. It is amazing. It's become a tradition for us to hit that up for breakfast on our way out of town. We look forward to it every time. And I like to thank my wife for going along with me. She's eight months pregnant now. She was the cameraman 
for a lot of this and a super duper trooper for uh, walking around eight months pregnant like that. So that was awesome that she did that. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.